so now that we finished the eyes we're gonna jump straight into applying our foundation i do have the juvia's place foundation as well i have the shade where's the name i have this shade zahara this shade zahara of 320 the foundation does look like this it's kind of small but it's super full coverage and you need very little so it's super small but you need very little and my shade is zahara keep in mind i did match myself to the uh, i did match myself to the foundation like online so i don't know i didn't see it like in person to know how it's gonna look but sahara actually looks pretty pretty good the model skin tone did look very similar to me it is a little bit on the warmer side but i'm okay with that i'm okay with having a little bit of warmth because i know i'm gonna go in with like concealer and stuff i will say this baby is full coverage but it does not it doesn't go heavy like at all i'm using my elf sponge because i figured because i heard it was such a full coverage foundation a sponge would be like the best way to apply something so heavy in coverage also you guys too i don't know if you know but like if you're somebody who has this coloration on your skin if you do your foundation a little bit warmer, like where you have the discoloration, you won't really um, see it. So this, so far so good, I'm feeling her. I know like in the, in the fall when I do get lighter, this will probably not be my color. But for now, I completely lied after blending it in. Sahara is maybe a bit too warm for my skin tone. I'm going to blend out a little bit just so you guys can see. So, yeah, we are definitely going to have to make this work. I did go ahead and also choose the concealer. I feel like with this brand, especially online, like, it was hard as hell to try to match these colors. Because honestly, online, it looked completely different than what it looked like in person. So for the concealer, I did get the shade 15, which as you can see, is gonna be hella freaking light for me. So I'm gonna just go in with my Pat McGrath concealer really quickly, just so I'm not looking super duper crazy. And then I'm gonna just brighten up certain areas with the 15 because baby, this has me looking crazy. But I did put the concealer on my um my eyes just as like a primer. And I will say the concealer is also full coverage too. Um, if you have an Ulta near you, definitely probably go in store to get color match. I did order everything from Juvia's Place, so I probably won't return anything. I probably will most likely honestly give everything. The stuff that don't match me, I'll probably give it away. Or if I'll keep it, because you never know. I might freelance once in a blue moon but i'm the type i know how to make i know how to make it work like this is gonna work for me the colors are <laughs> definitely off but wait till y'all see the end result yeah i'm like oh shoot she did that but i will say it is definitely difficult to pick the colors online and i'm a makeup artist and i was out here struggling but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything in with my sponge. Like I said, I do have the Pat McGrath Concealer mixed in with the Beauty Blender Concealer. Um, the Beauty Blender Concealer, what the hell am I saying? The Juvia's <laughs> Place Concealer. If you do want to know what shade I got for the concealer, it was shade 15. So shade 15 looks like this. Right, so this is what it's starting to look like now that i blended everything in this is what we got so far so we are coming back to normal we're not looking so crazy now i am gonna go back in with just a little bit more of the um the 15 concealer just to kind of brighten it up 
a little bit more looks like i'm giving myself like a tribal makeover so yeah i'm just gonna go back in with 15 to further brighten the skin this look i would definitely say is a full coverage look y'all okay this is not for the girls who are afraid of putting on makeup So we're just blending her out i will say though even though all the products are super full coverage it does feel very lightweight like nothing feels heavy on my face and prior to doing this video i did put on the milk the milk what is the name of this the milk hydro so i did put on the milk hydro primer just so it'll really stay and stick because as you know it's summertime it's hot as hell and you want your makeup to stay on your face But yeah, so this is it with a little bit more added concealer. The next thing I'm going to go in with, it's a non-Julius Place product, but honestly, I really... Actually, no. Before I do that, I'm going to actually go in with a stick. So let's just contour. We'll do some contouring. All right, so this is what it's starting to look like now that I blended everything in. This is what we got so far. So we are coming back to normal. We're not looking so crazy now. I am going to go back in with just a little bit more of the um, the 15 concealer just to kind of brighten it up a little bit more. Looks like I'm giving myself like a tribal makeover. So yeah, I'm just going to go back in with 15 to further brighten the skin. This look, I would definitely say is a full coverage look, y'all. Okay. This is not for the girls who are afraid of putting on makeup. So we're just blending her out. I will say though, even though all the products are super full coverage, it does feel very lightweight. Like nothing feels heavy on my face. And prior to doing this video, I did put on the milk the milk what is the name of this the milk hydro so i did put on the milk hydro primer just so it'll really stay and stick because as you know it's summertime it's hot as hell and you want your makeup to stay on your face but yeah so this is it with a little bit more added concealer the next thing i'm going to go in with it's a non-julius place product but honestly i really actually no before I do that, I'm going to actually go in with a stick. So let's just contour. We'll stay in and contour. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So I take it the stick. I believe this is a stick foundation or you use as a contour, whatever you prefer. I have the shade Casina. I guess it's called Casina. I think it's like second to last. It looks like this. So this I do know will work. And I'm just going to go ahead and align my face. I will say the sticks are very, very creepy. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. If you heard that in the previous clip, that was a dog. But we're going to just go in and blend everything out. Like I was trying to say, the sticks are very creamy. Um, so far, they're, they're pretty decent to blend out with. It doesn't feel like it's sitting, like it's sitting on, on my face. Definitely everything is blending very well. So these sticks, as a contour, I'm very happy with y'all. And then when I blend out the contour, I just like to kind of do both. Brush and brush and sponge. Blend it in an upward motion, y'all. We're trying to lift these cheekbones. So blend going up. And the good thing about having a really buttery, creamy product is that it shouldn't give you a hard time to blend. And y'all know my face is getting brown. I got fat, so I have to do underneath my chin. We do not want a double chin happening up in here. 
Okay, so this one is kind of like a non Juvia's Place product, but I was really excited when I heard Laura Mercier came out with a different color translucent. So she came out with her honey translucent powder, and I just took it upon myself to get like a mini because I did go and buy an oldie but a goodie benign banana powder. But I'm like, you know what? Let me try this and see what it is hitting for. So I have the shade Honey for the new Laura Mercier Translucent, the little baby shade. I believe this was $20, $23, which is like kinda, kinda pricey, y'all. But the Translucent Honey, it looks like this. Ooh, that <laughs> was like a fell. Mine's kinda like a fell. But it looks like that. And I'm gonna just take the shade Honey and I'm gonna go underneath my eye and just bake and I'm gonna also bring it by like the size of my nose my powder sit for too long so now I'm just gonna dust it away and the reason I didn't do the Juvia's Place powder is the shade I wanted was like sold out so I had to I said, let me just get this one. And then now I'm just going to go off camera and set my whole entire face with like my MAC, um, my MAC Studio Fix powder foundation. And then, alright y'all, so I did my bronzer, I set my face, so now we're going to go in with blush. So the blush, I did pick up the Saharian Blush Palette Volume 1, it looks like this. And I'm going to use this palette to do blush and to also do my illuminator. So for blush, I'm thinking, oh my god, these colors are so pretty. But I think I'm going to go in with the shade Toby, which is the orange right here. I'm really feeling Toby for some reason. So it's looking like Toby it is. Look at her. Like, Toby is so me. Not too much. Just enough. I did add a little bit more so y'all can see it. But it looks like this. Super soft. And now I'm just like building her up a little bit. Because I feel like it was like hella subtle. I'm feeling her and then I'm gonna illuminate my skin with the shade Layla so Layla is basically this highlight color right here and that's what we're gonna use for highlight and I wanted to grab the palette because I'm like I definitely want something that has all the colors in one like blush and um blush and illuminator and I feel like when a lot of people go shopping they do tend to look for palettes that have everything in there so I'm happy that they put that all in one and this highlight is super pretty and I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead because I'm gonna be glowy out here so now I'm just gonna go really quickly off camera and just smoke out my bottom lash line and add me some mascara and then we're gonna apply the lips that i picked up from julia's finished smoking on my bottom lash line i went ahead and added some mascara so now i'm gonna go in with the lip liner that i chose and i have the lip liner in the shade so rare the liner looks like this it's just a really nice knot it looks like this so rare looks it looks like this now i'm gonna go in with the shade toffee for the lipstick shade toffee and toffee is just like a really nice nude Cover effect setting spray, and now I'm kind of 
come back. I'm gonna finish my hair. I'm gonna come back, close the video, give y'all my thoughts, my opinions, what I think y'all need, what I think y'all can kind of pass up on, and I'll be guys. So I wanted to come over in the light just so you guys could see everything and see how my makeup ended up looking. This was the end result. Um, I will say it was kind of let me come back in the light so you guys can see me. It was kind of tricky just finding a shade for the foundation and the concealer, being that you can't swatch it. You can't see it in person. I don't believe the pictures was 100% as accurate as they look in real life. But other than that, the coverage was fantastic. I think it's such a good product. If you find the right shade, it's going to work out so bomb for you. They did a really good job. It's at such a reasonable price. Also, the eyeshadow palette is a must-have. Like, you need to buy it today. It's such a necessity. The lips were super nice and velvety. I love the colors. It's super flattering on brown skin girls or women of color. As well as um, the, the the foundation stick is another product you definitely need. It went on super smooth, super buttery, and it was easy to blend out. And that is it for my Juvia's Place look. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe, babies. High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon, or the Rover. I put some ice on your